All right. Boom. Sean Murphy. I've heard for hey. I've heard for years that you need to be able to perform clean comedy. I try hard to write clean, meaning I don't curse a lot, but my subject matter always ends up adult. What's your opinion on clean comedy? Hate to say it, Shawnee Murph, Doug, but it is very helpful, very almost almost necessary. I mean, even David Tell, who's like the funniest guy on the planet, who's got midget jokes and jizz, his he's got clean. He can write clean. He can do it. So I think it's imperative if you want to do Fallon, you want to do all these late nights, you got to have it. So it's a good way to get in the door. I'm not saying it's you. I'm not saying it's your voice or your path for the, for forever. But I think it's good to have and fuck it. Suck it up and, and try to make it work. Like, let's say you're an amazing wrestler and you want to do the MMA. You got to learn boxing. You got to mm. box a little. So have it in your corner, you know. I'm not saying it's got to be your future career. Uh, what, what's the opposite of temporary? Permanent. Thank you. It's not your permanent world, but try it, knock it out, and it, it's harder. It is harder. I will say, as as a comic, I can admit, clean is harder. Dirty is easier. I'm not saying dirty's bad. I'm not saying dirty's hack, but it's easier because sex will get a laugh, cursing will get a laugh. So challenge yourself by trying to write some clean. Yeah, and if you didn't have clean, you wouldn't be able to open for uh, Seinfeld. Exactly, like it, exactly. And I trust me, I had to sift through albums of stuff mm -hmm. to find the cleanest shit that's like his level clean. And I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm glad I had it. Hey, Hot Brethren and Sistren. If you love comedy as much as we do here at Hot Breath, click the subscribe button to join the Hot breath -iverse, and then watch more videos to get even more comedy tips. Hot Breath.